Hello, I'm Jeff Brooks with this Women's History Month Civics Minute for March 12th. Human nature, unfortunately, being what it is, history shows that most people who are born, raised, and educated in slave-owning societies rarely question the morality of slavery. The Grimke sisters, Sarah and Angelina, are a refreshing exception. Sarah was born in 1792, Angelina 12 years later. They were raised by a fiercely pro-slavery father on a large South Carolina plantation, but they seem to have had an instinctive aversion to slavery from an early age. When both converted to Quakerism and relocated to Philadelphia in later years, they became fierce abolitionists and advocates for gender equality. In 1836, each of the sisters published controversial writings. Sarah wrote an open letter to clergymen of Southern churches, while Angelina authored an appeal to the Christian women of the South. Both of these works implored their target audiences to turn against slavery, as it was contrary to the precepts of Christianity, as well as the ideals expressed in the Declaration of Independence. At the same time, the sisters began making anti-slavery speeches to audiences across the North. This was scandalous for the time, as it was not seen as proper for women to be engaged in such work. Eventually, both became engaged in the struggle for women's rights, as well as abolitionism. Sarah Grimke passed away in 1873, with Angelina following in 1879. That's today's Civics Minute. Stout hearts, everyone.